Welcome back to Bright Raven Gaming. I, as always, am your host, Bastion, and today uh, we're going to start up a new series for Monster Hunter World and Iceborne because it's going to be almost a year before I get to play Rise on the computer. So this is going to hold me over until then. So, I'm going to be playing a gunner. <clears throat> I already have him done, of course, and now I've gotten my little kit here done. I think this is going to be an awesome little palico to run around with. A little hyena cheetah thing looking here. It looks awesome. And I am going to be either going for a heavy gunner or a light bow gunner. Not sure yet, but we will definitely find out. But uh, I'm excited to get in this. I am playing this on the computer. And uh, let's get into this and see how it goes. I already have one series uh, for a uh, sword and shield user. But I did that <clears throat> uh, on Xbox. And I also did not really do anything with uh, Iceborne on that. So I am definitely going to do something with Iceborne on this. And keeping that in mind, let's jump into it. And we're going to call him Kit. And there we go. As you can see, we definitely have the Iceborne uh, done because we are getting the Guardian Armor to start out with, which looks amazing. So let's get started. They've added a lot of things in here since I actually started a game again, so. So, how about a toast? <laughs> to the A-list! And the commission! Cheers! <laughs> <sighs> so, tell me, what's your theory? The Elder Dragons must migrate to the New World for some reason. Yeah, well, that's the reason I got sent here from Kimura. After running the research commission for 40-odd years, the guild's itching for an answer. Yep. They say the Fifth Fleet's got the best shot at cracking this case. Heck yeah, they and do. And I agree. <clears throat> Keep it down. Hey, speaking of, A-listers usually operate in teams of two. Have you sat down with your partner? No, yet? it's her. Uh, I'll go see what she has in store. Uh, see you guys later. Listen to that. <sighs> Getting rough out there. The waves are picking up. That's got a mean landfall. <laughs> You're on the A-list, right? Uh-huh. Huh. huh. Meow-dee-doo. I'm not psychic, but I do have pretty good ears. Ah, put her there. I happen to be an A-lister myself. Huh? Whoa! Oh, no. Hey, where are you going? Come back here. Don't go toward the madness. Oh. It's amazing that only one ship got stuck on big old Zora here. Oh, oh, oh! Kit! Kit! Careful! No! Uh, he's a cat, he'll land on his feet, but still. Whoop. I'm gonna have a headache in the morning. Hello. Okay. Fantastic. It's you! 
look what happened to the ship. Let's go take a little bit of getting used to because I am still using an Xbox controller we have to do here. Something. It's not safe here. This way. You not safe. I am pretty sure you were accurate in that. Lady, I'm ahead of you. Big uh, big old monster we're on. That's what we're on. Yeah, all right. Okay, we have escaped the giant bun store. With only a skinning knife, it's not much use to try and fight something that size. Wow. The new world. I'm sure a lot of somebody's have set up this camp. I found this in the tent. It has a map in it. Well, part of one at least. Okay. Let's see here. Looks like we're right around here. Mm hmm. The Research Commission's base of operations is here. Okay. This is where our ship was supposed to dock. For now, I think it would be best if we make our way to base. Yeah, you the don't think? The help us find our way. Oh, I wanted to get... Oh. Okay. It's probably been over a year since I played this last, so... And I've never played through Iceborne. Look, the research commission's headquarters. Come on, let's get going. There we go. According to the map, 
To get to HQ, we need to... Hmm. Aren't you a pretty apt enough? These Aptonoths seem every bit as docile as the ones back home. I don't imagine there's much difference. They are Aptonoth. It looks like we need to go around. All right. Hmm. Something's up. The scout flies are gathering. Stay close now. You seem to be a researcher more than a hunter. What a weird plant. Yeah, There's it's weird. There's one over here, too. Come on. I think I found the way back to base. I had the scout flies memorize my scent earlier. If you lose sight of me, just follow the scout flies, and they'll lead you right to me. Oh, uh, that's okay. Cool. We can push our way through these vines. I think they should have done a little bit more with that particular mechanic of pushing through like that. This, of course, is the tutorial, so I'm sure everybody has seen this a thousand times. Pretty sure even with a hunting knife I could handle these guys. Okay, easy there. Don't pick a fight if you don't have a weapon. We need to hide. Come on, this way. Hurry! Neek. I'm already hidden, Hurry lady. Up and hide. Really? Stupid jagras. Go away. Let's get going while we still can. You all right? Hmm. I might tweak my settings a little bit. It does seem like it's a little low resolution. So I might boost Nothing that up a little bit. Us. Uh, can I do any options here? Options. Uh, okay. Wait, there's something here. Aha, there we go. Boom. Hide in cutscenes only. Wait, there's something here. Awesome. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. What is this track? One that you should not be messing with. There's more over there. Let's check it out. Uh, no. I, uh, you were so rambunctious, young one. Looks like a Ludroth scraping. Yeah, something like a Ludroth. Except with bigger teeth. Don't mind me. This way, hurry. Okay, let's go. Move. I'm coming, I'm coming. It's a fat lud droth. Move. 
What the heck is that sound? What are you waiting for? Get over here. All right then. Whoop. <laughs> hey. You all right? Let's go. Okay. I made it. All right, cool. I really like this armor. It's not bad. I'm actually surprised they did not just make it a uh, a layered armored set right off the bat instead of making it starting gear. That was kind of weird, but that's okay. I'm cool with it. I do know that I'm pretty much going to be wearing the same mask as soon as I get it throughout the entire game until I can make uh, layered armor out of it, even though it is exceptionally weak. But it does have the Plague Doctor aesthetic that I go so much for, and that's going to be the Great Jiros head armor. And, uh, I know it's weak, but, uh, is what I want. Amazing, ain't it? Just look at this gate. It's like nature meant for us to build a Stara right here. Stara. I like it. <laughs> the rest of the fifth are already here. You're the last to arrive. You guys made it. Be right back. <laughs> yeah, we made it. Of course we did. Had it rough, huh? Okay. When we couldn't find you two, we were starting to sweat bullets. <sighs> you scared us. We were talking about going out to look for you. <laughs> All's well that ends well. <sighs> hey, we need a hand. Sorry. Hey, Come on. <laughs> Catch you later. <laughs> 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 This here's our trade yard. I guess the name says it all. Huh. Look at all the people. The stuff. Incredible, right? <laughs> We've got it all here. We've got hunters to do all the exploring, scholars to do the research, technicians to keep them going. This place is the beating heart of the commission. Wait here a sec. Commander, I found him. All right. Hello, Commander. Welcome to Astera. All right. Reputations precede you. Oh, yeah, that works. Well, off you go. Thank you, sir. Okay, I'll give you the grand tour. Let's start by looking for your palico. This is our stockpile. They carry most of the basic necessities. You should drop by later to see what they have. Uh huh. Thanks for the tip, Brainiac. Next is the smithy. It's this way. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Over here. Oh yeah, we're doing the slow the walk. Commission's fifth fleet, right? Yep. The old man in charge, my grandfather, was with the first. That was a long time ago. Me? I'm not with any fleet. Born and bred right here. Ah. Never even been to the old world. Oh, hopefully you'll be able to see it someday. Kamura Village is absolutely gorgeous. 
Uh, they sent me here to figure out what the heck's all this uh, going on this with the. This is where you can oh. craft weapons and armor. Elder dragons and all that. Wow! Look at this place. Want to check it out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll check it out. Ooh, it's toasty in here. Well, that's because there's a lot of fire you've done. Canteen. Let's check it out. Want to get going? Yep, let's go. The canteen? I am so there. Anybody ever told you you're a little anxious there, Handler? Over here. This here's our canteen. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, there's Kit. Hey, you! <laughs> I knew you'd pull through. Good little buddy. Of course he pulled through. I did not change the color of his eyes. I completely right. forgot, but that's okay. Come on. I like the eye color. Now that you are all here, let us begin council. All right. After tracking a migrating elder dragon across the sea, the fifth fleet have finally arrived in Astera. Give them a warm welcome. They're a fine group, worthy comrades who will help see the research commission's long efforts finally rewarded. Would you like to say a few words? Uh, Thank you, sir. We're ready to roll up our sleeves and get our hands dirty. In other words, let's do it. This here is the Commission's core team. You should all get to know each other. Looking forward to it. Now, down to business. The latest monster to make the Elder Crossing is known as Zora Magdaros. A huge monster with a mountain of fire upon its back. Yeah, he was a big boy. The Research Commission's job is to discover exactly why the Elder Dragons are migrating to the New World. All right. Elder dragons have been with us since the dawn of time. Thank you, Scholar Man. Altering the ecosystem, reshaping the land, leaving disaster in their way. Mm -hmm. Once every decade or so, they flock to this continent. But for what reason? With the Fifth's help, we will find the missing link. Here, here. Now we're talking! Uh, that's the reason I was sent. Hunters, for the time being, I need you to focus on investigating our Jagras problem. And securing Astera. Sounds good. Start by investigating the Jagras' habitat. Find out what makes him tick, and we'll go from there. All right. Right. We're on it, sir. Everyone else, you know the drill. Make sure these hunters have everything they need. Now we're talking. You two, make it a priority to learn how we do things around here. You'll find good teachers, so don't be afraid to ask. Thank you, you sir. Stick with me, and you'll have no problems. The fifth banner promises a change in the wind. It's your job to fulfill that promise. Sounds good. All right. Dismissed. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, hands dirty. Sounds good. Okay. And since we have the opportunity, I think we're going to end this episode here. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, if you have, definitely leave a like for me because that tells me you like the... Uh, that tells me you like in the series. Again, this is a full playthrough that is going to kind of uh, keep me busy until um, Rise comes out. And Rise comes out we play some basic gear for you in, in about box. a week Make sure to choose a weapon for the... Uh, For the Switch, I do not have a Switch. So, without having a Switch, I am going to have to wait till it comes out on a uh, computer. So, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to wait. Alrighty.
we're gonna go with heavy bow gun uh, to start we'll off with going. and then we'll go from there but that's going to do it for this episode. If you guys have enjoyed, once you're ready, head to the canteen. I'll be there waiting with a quest. Can you can get more familiar with your mm. weapons, the training area. Just talk to the housekeeper to get started. Thank you. But yeah, if uh, if you have enjoyed this, consider leaving a like for me. It really does help. Uh, comment down below what you think. What was your build when you went through World and Iceborne? Because you would have had to make a definitely different build for each of them. Iceborne was quite a bit more difficult. And I only went up against uh, the very first uh, Bay of Totus. And I could tell that even if you go through the entirety of world, you were going to have a lot harder time with Iceborne. Um, we'll see if we can't make a an optimal uh, build with this guy and see if we can't do a little bit different. Uh, and if you have not already... Uh, consider subscribing. It really does help grow the channel. And uh, we're up to 95. And if you do happen to hit that subscribe button, go ahead and hit that notification bell. That way you know when I upload a new video. Until next time, I've been Bastion. This has been Bright Raven Gaming, and I wish you all a fantastic day.